Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and welcome back to another episode of the Taylor Talks Crochet Podcast. Today we have quite a few finished objects and quite a few new projects. I feel like I, not that I've like finished a lot of things, but like kind of based on like my last two podcast episodes and so I'm like okay now what <laughs> don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more fiber related content like this I post new videos Monday Wednesday Friday and sometimes Saturday I would love to have you a part of our little community so stick around and join us let's just hop right into the finished objects I'm wearing like a new lip gloss today it's the NYX fat oil slick click in the what is it link in my bio is the color i really like it but i feel like it's touching my teeth it's not but i feel like it is so let's first things first look at this this is my coliseum top by ed's f art cattails yarn from the bayou yarn shop in louisiana and i crocheted it with a five millimeter crochet hook and I am literally so in love with it. I like that it's a little bit tighter around my waist. Like it kind of shows how tiny my waist is. But then the sleeves have a little bit more, you know, give to them. I am so in love with this. It's so soft. I'm so in love with this. And I'm just so excited. I'm going out to dinner with a couple friends tonight. And I just thought I had to show it off. The second one is one that has been, <laughs> that I've been working on for a while. Ah, my Easter egg dress is done. So I finished this not too long ago and what I had actually done is I had added some rows on the bottom but when I tried it on it was like bunching so I frogged all of that. So it's kind of just like it, it gives more like oversized t-shirt vibes. All of the ends for the squares were not fun to weave in, but I saw on Instagram people talking about actually just like braiding them. So that's what I did for the sleeves and it worked out super well. So I guess we'll see what it's like when I'm actually wearing it because I haven't, I've put it on like when all the ends were hanging out. That's another one done. This was with just an assortment of worsted weight yarn that I had in a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. If I were to make this again, I would definitely use a six or a 6.5 millimeter because it is just tight and it's quite heavy. So I think it just needs a little bit of a looser gauge and I feel like it would have a little bit more drape. As you can see, it's like kind of stiff in the way that it just kind of lays. But who knows, maybe maybe it just needs like a nice wash and block and then it'll be fine. This next one is the Raglan sweater dress. I am so happy to have this done. It is super cute on. It doesn't really look like much right now because it doesn't have any shaping to it. It's just long and a bit oversized. I did actually have to <laughs> frog like five rows because I just kept going and going and going and going. And unfortunately, it's just not the season for this anymore, but I'm sure I will be wearing this this fall and maybe even around the Christmas season since it's like an, a pine evergreen color. Next, I finished my variation on the Celestial Cape by Astro Naughty on Instagram. These tassels took me forever to do. It's so cute and pretty. It just like... I'm so excited to like have somewhere to wear this at. I just don't know where. I need to like leave my house more often and then I'll have places to wear these. But yeah, so that's done. I also finished that poncho for my friend. I already gave it to her, so it's in her closet somewhere. But I am working on another one that I will be able to show you the final product of. And then this is the fastest hexagon cardigan. That I've ever done. So I called my family on Easter Sunday as you do and I am just like not good at sitting still. So while I was talking with my family on the phone I just grabbed out this is Karen Big Cakes in the colorway Peach Parte and I just started crocheting and I just crocheted while I was talking with them and I actually got so far that I finished an entire panel that night 
my family can talk. Where Midwesterners to our core, it's like, oh, gotta, I should head, I should hop off now. And then you talk for another 20 to 30 minutes. I also put a hood on there, so it's like kind of hard to kind of get the whole effect. But yeah, the fastest hexagon cardigan that ever was. Two acquisitions next, because I think that'll just be easiest what I got going on right here. So I have a habit of like not buying, I either buy way too much yarn or not enough. And so I've got a hexagon cardigan that has been sad, sitting unfinished for months because I just needed one more skein of some sort of big twist twinkle yarn in one of the colorways. This is the colorway Sapphire. And I'll probably finish that this weekend because when I tell you this cardigan, one, needs to be done. It's like maroon, black, and this sapphire color. It's really pretty. I think it would be like a good like 4th of July cardigan to like sit around a bonfire. But she's not done, so I can't wear her to any bonfires. And then the next one is Lion Brand Kobu. I've, been, I've had a bandana that has been almost done for over a year now, and I just needed this yellow kobu. So I'm gonna finish that and then probably make other bandanas with this. And then I got another skein of this Karen Cotton Cakes in the colorway Frozen Yogurt. I do have a whip that's like almost done, but I definitely don't have enough yarn f to like finish it. So got one last skein, and then I'll probably have some left over that I'll have to figure out what to do with. And then, because I am weak, I also got three skeins of this Karen Blossom Cakes in the colorway Caribbean Sea. So here's two of them. The third one has a project attached to it that you will see in a minute. But yeah, these are just so beautiful. They are a 61% cotton, 39% acrylic blend. And when I tell you, this just feels so good Like when I'm crocheting with it. like I can't stop and I don't want to stop. I've used this yarn before, I have another project that's unfinished using this yarn, but it's... Ugh. I'm so excited, this blue is just so vibrant and it's like all these different tones of blue. So I'm excited to show you what I'm making for the summer for myself. <laughs> I think that's all for acquisition, so let's just get into whips. So first whip I have here is another skirt. I need a name for this skirt, honestly, because I don't want to just call it like easy ruffle skirt. But I'm doing this with a six millimeter crochet hook. Um, this yarn, it's categorized as a weight four, but honestly, I would call this a weight three. I'm using Lion Brand Sustainable Stitching Respun 100% recycled polyester, and it's their bonus bundle. It has 600 yards in here, but it is like thin. It's thinner yarn than you would expect. So this will probably take me a little bit longer because the stitches just aren't as big as the ones with the other weight four yarn that I've used. But it is quite soft and I'm excited to kind of see how this turns out. I think it'll be a really fun like light pink color for the spring. This next one is just the startings of what will be a crop top. I'm using the Big Twist Living in the colorway Inclusivity. This is a What's the word? I'll have to reference Passionate Kelsey's tutorial on YouTube. Uh, she has one where it's just like two cups and then you sew, or not sew, you just crochet on the sides and then it has a corset back like all the other crop tops. And I really like the way this one's turning out. It It's obviously a rainbow but it also kind of reminds me of, you know, those like thermal things where they're like measuring your temperature. Like on those ghost hunter shows, like, do you know what I'm talking about? Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, please. Because I feel like I sound crazy right now. <laughs> so, there's that one. And then the next one, I'll show you the... What I'm using the Karen Cotton Cake Frozen Yogurt for. So, this is one of four panels, and I'm making the Katata Tank Top. This was a free pattern that's featured in my free patterns for free crochet patterns for spring if you've checked if you check out that video. So I am making one of those. I have three of four panels done and as you'll notice I also sewed in the ends. I don't know who she is but she's not sticking around for long so we're gonna you know 
be happy with what we got right now. <laughs> the fourth panel, as you can see, like this just wasn't enough to finish because then I also have to seam it all together and do the straps and a little bit of edging. So yeah, I'm just so excited like this. So Karen Cotton Cakes is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and it's just such a lightweight yarn. Like this is, this feels like nothing. It's amazing. And I'm just so excited. This is for a present for my roommate. She does know that I'm making it for her. My goal is just for both of us to have full crocheted wardrobes, obviously. <laughs> and so from that, I'll just go into the next one right away. I am also making a Kanata. It's like Kanata kerchief tank top, I think is the full name of it. Making that for myself. I do have one panel done over here. Oh, the vibrant blue. So I am making mine just a little bit smaller because I am a bit shorter than my best friend. So if, like, I need four of these panels, basically they, like, kind of go like this and then you stitch them together. So I just, like, don't need it to be as long as, like, she does because her torso is much longer than mine. But, yeah, so... Uh, I'm just, like, so obsessed with this yarn. I love how vibrant it is. It's just going to be so fun, and if I do end up getting a tan this summer, which, let's not hold our breaths or speak too soon, but, like, this would look really good if I was just, like, a little bit tanner. <laughs> so, two of those tank tops. These next two things are hair scarves, actually. I found this pattern on Pinterest, and it was so cute. This girl just had them, like, she used them as, like, headbands, or she, like, wrap them around her little half up half down ponytail um so for this one i don't have the yarn label for this anymore i want to say that it was like big twist party or something i know that it has like the tiniest bit of linen in it but yeah so right now i'm doing the pico edging on this one honestly i wonder if i should have made it longer i don't know we're just gonna see how it goes if it if it stinks we'll frog it i have this one it's a k and c essential cotton in the colorway joshua tree and I think I will have to frog this one because the, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like getting thinner and I don't know. I definitely dropped a stitch somewhere. So that one I'll have to redo, but yeah, just two of those. And then the last thing is a gift for my other best friend. I am also making her one of the mandala ponchos. I've got one panel done right here. And this is with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the colorway Jazzy. It's just this neon pink... That leads into like a light neon pink. It's just like so beautiful and like I love these mandala things so much. Mandala crochet is like way easier than I thought it would be and I'm just like I'm floored. I am absolutely floored. But yeah I'm so excited to give this to her and send it to her for her birthday and see how she looks wearing it because I know it'll look so good on her. That is all the projects I have to share with you this week. I feel like I've got so many new whips but I also finished so many and I'm like so proud of myself. I even sat down before this and probably woven ends for like an hour. I've been trying to be so good recently just at least trying to sit down and weave in a couple ends daily because I just hate doing that so much. But Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you're working on down in the comments below. And give this video a big like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.